You don't need a four hundred dollar handbag. It's kind of hard to check your throat when you're flapping your guns around. Oh, hi. But it's for the fall formal. He doesn't care if it's for the presidential inauguration. Oh. But I'm using Marissa's old dress. It's free. Yeah, you know what else is free? Roof over your head, the food you eat, your phone, your computer. How long have you been congested? Uh, a week, ever since we got back from Fresno. Fresno? That's in France, right? See the Parthenon? Uh, California. I've got no appetite. I'm aching all over. I'm weak. Does that hurt? Oh, yeah. Does his voice always have that unattractive nasal tone? <laughs> totally. I'm going to take that giggle as a no. Fever, aches, weakness, loss of appetite. Been having any anal sex with IV drug users lately? Of course not. I'm married. You think she might have been having no? no. It's probably a rhinovirus. What's that? Cold. Take this four times a day. Stay off airplanes, flying cesspools. Oops. I dropped something. If there's anything else you can think of, please call. Yes? He's too old and weak. Dr. House? Hi. How are you? Not as good as you think I am. Don't worry, I'm not stalking you. My dad just lost his medicine. He had to come back for another prescription. Yeah, right. He's moving it on the street, isn't he? Yeah, my dad, the meth kingpin. Why haven't you returned any of my calls? I plan to. In a couple of years. I was just calling to say thank you. I'm gonna tell you how impressed I was. You diagnosed my dad by just looking at him. Felt his glands, too. <laughs> oh, there's my dad. I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Oh, and you really don't have to wait a couple years to return my calls. Just six months till I turn 18. Dr. House. Hello, girl whose name I don't remember, but whose dad I treated, so I don't really know why she's here. Allie. Um, I think I caught my dad has the rhino thing. Right. Does that hurt? A little. It's in my chest, too. Of course it is. I had access through the shirt. This will work. Feels good. Exactly when did New Jersey run out of horny 17-year-old boys? About five weeks ago. It's been very lonely. The ventilation scan was normal. Time to send him home. Can't leave right now. Well, congratulations, you are the proud owner of your very own rhino thing. A rhino virus? You can't leave because she has a cold? Can't leave because Cuddy says I can't leave. Carpet? Never. Nothing to talk about. Your girlfriend called the clinic 15 times looking for you today. Huh. A lot to discuss. China patterns. House. She's a stalker. Right. Couldn't be that she finds me interesting, attractive. It has to be that she's insane. She's called you 15 times. Your mother's not that interested in well, you. Well, maybe I'd be better adjusted if she was. I'm notifying security. Is this about the carpet? You think I'll back off if you block all my fun? You better not be having fun. I'm having fun. I'm not having sex. She's dangerous. She's not dangerous. She's pretty. She's pretty. Men are stupid. I'm with you so far. I'm notifying security. Oh, give her a break. She's not dangerous. She's insightful. You can't stop our love! Hey. You can 
get into a lot of trouble being here. I wanted to see you. Yeah, I got that. So did everyone else. They think you're a stalker. One could argue those people might be jealous of your attention. Yes, I actually made that argument. And going home? That's the plan. In Iceland, the age of consent is 14. I'm surprised tourism isn't a bigger industry up there. So today I'm jailbait, but in 22 weeks, anybody can do anything to me. Will I be so different in 22 weeks? 22 weeks is enough for an embryo to grow arms and legs. It's just a line. An arbitrary line drawn by a bunch of saddled men in robes. Yeah. Who cares what judges think? Didn't think of you as a guy who followed rules just because they were rules. You are over 10 years younger than me. I said over. Gotta go! Our house. Dr. Cuddy, uh, do you happen to know the way to the Icelandic consulate? This young woman, a stranger to me, was just asking directions. Security was gonna call the police. I don't wanna do that to you. Go home. She needed a ride. She got here on her own, she can get home on her own. Now. And if I see you on hospital grounds again, I will call the police. After that look, I'm feeling a little frisky. Looks like you're up. I'm ovulating. Let's go. The frisky, it went away. Listen to me. Do you have any idea what you'd have to look forward to if you stayed with me? Nine chances out of ten, we both wind up in a jail. You're only saying that to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know that you belong with Victor. Is there Victor in your class? If you're not with someone your age, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. And for the rest of your life. What about us? We'll always have Fresno. I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of two little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that. You know, now, here's looking at you. Was there an earthquake when you were in Fresno? What? I ask all my color friends that. Um. <sighs> yeah, a little one. Damn. What? What? What is it? It's not love. You have a spore in your brain. Coccidioides imidis. California's full of them. When they get an earthquake, you get released into the air, you breathe it in, you get a cold. Turns into sinus congestion, aches, weakness, milky tears, and sometimes loss of inhibition and judgment. Damn! So, loving you, wanting to have sex with you, is so all just the spore stalking? You'll probably live. <laughs> 